hello good morning good afternoon good evening out of all i'm greeting all of you i hope you are doing well i hope everything is okay with you i hope you are fine i hope you are okay thank you very much i love you all and I, I really appreciate sometimes i i i am short of words uh actually i'm really short of words uh I don't know what to say. You guys are really surprising me. Mo 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 ye juma nanga san kasan kasan. Mo share videos no ama eko echiri. Midamase midamase midamase. Madam Gladys entry michiao zuruke fe michiao. Mo ni na all of you. I'm greeting you. Well, um, this particular episode is going to be the conclusion of the prophecies of Prophet Muhammad from the Bible. This is the last one. Then the next video you see us on it, or uh, the next time you see us on screen is going to be about the Boka or the Soothsayers. And I'm going to show Arabian Peninsula, I'm going to show you how say, I'm going to prophesy the coming of Prophet Muhammad. No, I'm going to discuss it. We'll try as much as we can so that we can do that one, maybe two or three, and then we'll move to the next level. So we are getting there. We really want to tell you what Islam is. We want to tell you what Islam is. And from the look of things, if you see all the things that we've been telling you, all these explanations, if you check, you see that we are really, really saying something. We are you start to think, you 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 have new thoughts about the religion, actually. So this is the reality time. This is time of knowing. We got no beef with the religion, we got no problem with anybody. What we are saying is that the thing has been in with us for a long time. Let us check the other side of it. Let us flip the other side of the coin. And then we give ourselves some kind of freedom. And again, the intimidation is too much. Stop using your religion to intimidate people. Let people be. Stop using your religion to intimidate people. I don't understand why you're going to say that when someone leaves Islamic religion, they should be killed. This is one of the topics I will discuss before we enter into the Islamic religion. Because when we discuss the the suit says and our book of one hour soon for when we discuss their prophecies we we'll then we'll talk about the birth of prophet muhammad and we we'll talk about his childhood after the childhood before we we'll go to talk about the before we we'll go to talk about the, the the beginning of the religion how the religion started we will discuss the law of apostasy when one leaves the religion they must be killed when someone says they will not be muslim again they will ask them questions like three days they will give them three chances or three days or three chances and then if they still stand by their thought that they will not practice the religion again they must be killed it is true it is real and it is in the religion we'll discuss that one too as well thank you for making the page one of the greatest pages well thank you for making us one of the pages that are blowing waves on social media thank you very much sooner or later we're gonna start the tiktok one as well i'm greeting you or i'm greeting all of you thank you very much now we are still with the prophecy of john we're going to conclude it now in the other video you see the questions we're putting out they are interesting questions they are questions that whoever claim that that prophecy is for prophet muhammad is talking about prophet muhammad they should answer those questions now we're going to finish it let me pick the bible so we're going to finish it now in finishing it uh the other quotation is about the promise of the coming of the holy spirit the advocate the comforter and the helper now the work of the holy spirit what is the spirit coming to do this one is going to elaborate more over the previous one so with this one you have your final confirmation you can establish the final verdict that whether it is about prophet muhammad or it's something else but before then in trying to check out this one because it is uh chapter 16 it is chapter 16 it is john chapter 16 verse uh, 6 yeah verse 6 that is talking about the work of the spirit the work of the spirit 
Now, in trying to put this together and check other things and read other stuff, I came across another chapter, another verse in John, which is for John chapter 15, verse 27. There is something there, and I want to start with that one before we go to the work of the Holy Spirit. Now, 15, John 15, verse 27, it goes like this. When, uh, when the advocate comes, when the advocate comes, I think it starts from 26. When the advocate comes, that is the one that has been spoken about in the previous video, in the previous quotation. When he comes, whom I will send to you from the Father, who I will send to you from the Father. The advocate is going to be sent by Jesus. It is Jesus that will send him. This is a problem for a Muslim. Islamically, Prophet Muhammad is the best. Islamically, when you put all the apostles together, Prophet Muhammad is their leader. Islamically, when you put all the creatures of the world together, Prophet Muhammad is the best among the creatures. In Hausa, they say, Fiyeyen Halita, the best of creatures. It's more than any other creature. It's more than anybody. Now, if you insist that he is the advocate, he is the one the book of John is talking about. Now, this is what Jesus is saying. In 15 verse 26, 27, he says, when the advocate comes, whom I will send to you from the Father, Niamesumanu Efi Mejaho Edi Abramunu, Fieyen Halita, when the Jesus ya Aikeshi, ya kwantamaka, kekadu ban nande deni, Fieyen Halita, when the Jesus ya Aikeshi, kekadu ban kai de kadu ban de deni, well, Jesus de Aikeshi, so. The advocate who Muslims claim to be Muhammad was sent by Jesus. So, as a Muslim, do you believe that Muhammad was sent by Jesus? Bible, Quran preaches. You must answer this question. Do you believe that it was Jesus that sent Muhammad? Was it Jesus that sent Prophet Muhammad? That is what the, the that is what John chapter 15, verse 26, 27 is saying, whom I will send to you from the Father, the spirit of truth, and the name has repeated, he is a spirit of truth. Who comes from the Father? Comes from the Father, but he was sent by Jesus. Who comes from the Father? But sent from Jesus. Well, is there any spirit that does not come from the Father of Is there any spirit from the Bible that does not come from the Father of Jesus? No spirit. No spirit from the Bible that does not come from the Father of Jesus. So don't use this as a point. As a Muslim, you can't use this as a point. All the spirit is in the Bible. All the spirit in the Bible are coming from the Father of Jesus. So, so if he says he's from the Father, it doesn't make any point. All the spirits in the Bible are coming from the Father, including the negative ones. It is in the Bible. Whoever read the Bible and studied the Bible understands this. Even the devil spirit itself, the evil spirit itself, is coming from the Father. So who will come from the Father doesn't make anything. The point is, Jesus is the one that is going to send him. So Jesus sent Prophet Muhammad. Now, according to Muslims, Jesus Christ, uh, uh, Prophet Muhammad is the best creature, is the boss, is the over, 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 over Lord of the prophet, of the apostles. Now, if Jesus was the one who sent him, between Prophet Muhammad and Jesus, who is the overlord? Bible Quran preacher 
from your sheikhs in the country to the smaller ones answer this question this question must be answered yes this question must be answered so he says uh you testify on my behalf he will testify on his behalf so the point here is that jesus christ sent the advocate so if you still insist that this advocate is prophet muhammad then your prophet muhammad was sent by jesus the christ between the one that is sent and the one that sent him who is bigger you will answer it or you go explain tire now let's go to the work of the spirit that is john chapter 16 verse uh, verse, uh, verse 6 verse 6 all the way to i think somewhere verse 7 and 8 now listen this is what the verse is saying it says it says the work of the spirit I did not say those things to you from the beginning. Man can chrao sa man can chremo sa in some way e won fiti ase no. In fiti ase no man can chremo in some way. Because I was with you. Man ka e fi se me ne mu na e wo ho. Nti na man ka. But now I am going to him who sent me. Now I am going to him who sent him. The mom says, "See, I me be me be jamu ako, me be ko me awasuma ame nunchei." Yet none of you asks me. The mom, mumu biara ambisa me say, "Where are you going?" I hear from a uko, mumu biara ambisa. So the disciple didn't ask. He told them you he's going, but none of the disciples ask that where is he going. Mo ambisa me. But because I have said these things to you, as I said, Nemum, Nemum, as I said, Makasan, some way, Achram, in Tenum. Sorrow has filled your heart. As I said, Makasan, some way, Achram, in Tenum. Mombro, Mombro, Hunu, Ashama, Kumama. Mombro, Hunu, Ashama, Kumama, Anna, or Yao, Anna, or How, Ashama, Kumama. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is to you, it is to your advantage that I go away. Okay. For if I do not go away, Seman Fise. The advocates, advocate no spirit no American one will not come to you. Oma, some man kwa. Oma, some man kwa. Oma, okay, will not come to you. But if I go, some kwa ne mum, some kwa. I will send him to you. Mesumano Edi Abremo. I will send him to you. Mesumano Amamu. The point we read earlier has repeated here. So it was Jesus that sent the advocate. If the advocate is Prophet Muhammad, then dear Muslim sister and dear Muslim brother, was it Jesus that sent Prophet Muhammad? If you still insist that Prophet Muhammad is the advocate, then it is Jesus that sent Prophet Muhammad. And he said, Jesus, because why am I clear? I will send him to you. Bible now, the proving, and I'm not making kind. I will send him to you. Mesumano edi amamu. Mesumano abremu. Mesumano abamu nchayi. 
Jesus ne so ma no anti se e advocate no e ye prophet Muhammad dia Jesus ne so ma prophet Muhammad ana na se Jesus ne so ma prophet Muhammad dia prophet Muhammad o ye juma de ma hwan hwan na e be obeye na count e de ama no you see you've read this with emotions so you don't know that it is a blow to you you think it is rather supporting you it is rather punching you right in the face it's rather punching you right in the face this is abrahamic religion for you this is the cat and dog game cat and dog game today this is not good tomorrow they are going to seek support there today this will go to hell tomorrow they are going to seek support over there some decades back picture photography is prohibited in islam it is haram in islam islam whatever you hear that it is haram when you commit it in islam you will go to hell that is what haram is so photograph some time ago was haram in islam today all the sheikhs all the sheikhs has their pictures all over social media so tell me your sheikhs tell me your sheikhs are they not going to go to hell all the sheikhs will go to hell any sheikh that has his picture any sheikh any ustaz any malam or malama who has videos and pictures on social media all of you are going to hell because according to islam it is haram unless you tell me prophet muhammad came back to tell you that it is no more haram that is abrahamic religion for you you do things with emotions you don't think you don't check your fact wasanyara wasanyara koto haram ne koto haram ne yo hotu na kuna ko ina videos kuna ko ina muka magana kuna ai ka wa zo abuga mu azo akache mu ba kulura kuna maganga nu kama ba ka so prophet muhammad was sent by jesus if indeed he is the advocate so i will send him to you so jesus sent prophet muhammad so prophet muhammad is working for jesus and prophet muhammad will render account for jesus as far as you still say he is the advocate for jesus is the one who will send the advocate so the advocate who you think is prophet muhammad is working for jesus christ so jesus is bigger than muhammad jesus is boss over muhammad now I will send him to you and when he comes he will prove the word wrong about sin and righteousness and judgment this is where i will end the quotation now let me put all the points together from this new testament in the book of john and tell you that one the advocate supposed to be with to meet and abide and be within the disciples of jesus christ prophet muhammad came on this earth where all the disciples disciples were born so the advocate is not prophet muhammad so prophet muhammad is not prophet muhammad point number two according to jesus the advocate will be for will be here forever prophet muhammad didn't stay forever so he's not the advocate point number three according to you muslims prophet muhammad is the best among the prophets he is fear halita the best of the creatures which makes jesus less so the advocate will be sent by jesus so prophet muhammad is not the advocate 
Number four. That, number four. That is the last one. The advocates, the comforter, the helper is not Ahmed and it is not Muhammad. I'm asking every Muslim that understands Arabic. I'm daring all the Muslim scholars in Ghana and beyond Ghana. Those understand Arabic language. Come and tell me how the advocate is Muhammad in Arabic. Come and explain to me how the advocate is Ahmed in Arabic. Come and tell me how the comforter is Muhammad in Arabic. Come and tell me how the comforter is Ahmed in Arabic. I'm daring all the Islamic scholars that understand Arabic language. Come and tell me how helper is Muhammad in Arabic. Come and tell me how helper is Ahmed in Arabic. If not for anything, if you pick Quran chapter number one, Iyaka na abudwa, Iyaka nastain. The word nastain means for, to you alone we seek help. So it's the armor is help. So how come Muhammad became helper? How come Muhammad became advocate? How come the word Muhammad became comforter? How come Ahmad became helper? How come Ahmad became comforter? How come Ahmad became advocate? It's not adding up. In fact, so brethren, Muslim sisters, Muslim brothers, dear Bible Quran preachers, dear comparative preachers in Islamic communities, you don't have a prophecy in the Bible that prophesies the coming of Prophet Muhammad. You don't have a single one. You don't have it. Share the video. Check the verses out. Follow them and read them well. Next time when they quote those verses for you, telling you it is a prophecy about the coming of Prophet Muhammad, question them well. So all the argument of these prophecies, both the New Testament and the Old Testament, has been flogged. There is no prophecy about Prophet Muhammad in the Bible. Don't go there. You don't have it. The realities on the ground is saying you do not have it. You do not have it. If you insist, then it means Jesus Christ is the boss. Is prophet is for is a boss over Prophet Muhammad because the advocate was sent by Jesus Christ. So if the advocate is Prophet Muhammad, then Prophet Muhammad is working for Jesus and he will render account for Jesus. This is the end of the prophecies in the Bible, both New Testament and the Old Testament, concerning the coming of Prophet Muhammad. Now, this prophecy has got nothing to do with Prophet Muhammad. And even if they are, they are corrupt prophecies. Corrupt prophecies can only talk about corrupt prophets. And cor corrupt prophets can only initiate corrupt religion. My dear Muslim, is that true? That based on the corrupt book prophesizing the coming of the of your prophet leads to corrupt religion. Are you okay with that? This is it. The last one is found in Revelation. We didn't mention that one because that one is more or less like talking about the Quran. So when we start to discuss the books, the religious books, we will go there. Because Muslims go to say that Bible has talked about the Quran as well. So we will discuss that one too as well. So there is no prophecy of Prophet Muhammad in the Bible. We are done with that. 
meet us again when we explore the prophecies of the soothsayers of Arabian Peninsula. The Bokes, what Zongo House are called Bokes. Abosun Sun Fuanomwa Arabian Peninsula. Yes, you almost all my prophesy see the coming of Prophet Muhammad. That is the next episode that is coming on your way. But the question is Abosun Sun Fuanomusun Motianim Mbosum Emi Satan. Omobosumuno Omupeni Ye Satan. Iblis, aka Shaitan. Satan. And this is a prophecy about Prophet Muhammad. How are you happy for a boka bosun sumuni? I also say that ever prophesy say about the coming of your prophet. Are you really serious? Thanks for watching. Until we meet again, I say to you, bye bye.